Oh, break a one nine, break a one nine. This here's a gear jam and deer. White tail has got your front door. Come on. Hello. I am here with a new series. Um, it's basically just going to be like a uh, doing a just doing like a career playthrough of ATS, basically. Um. So, starting from scratch, this is a completely new profile. Um, my first job was a little bit longer than usual, so I've leveled up once, and I have a little bit more money than I necessarily should, um, because it gave me a really long first job for some reason. But I just did the first job so I could get the profile fully set up and, you know, not be in the tutorial mode and everything like that. Um, so as you can see, I do not have a truck. Um, you know, I don't have any drivers or anything. And, yeah, this is mostly no mods. I currently have four mods installed, which I will show you now. All right, so I've got here the GDC Logistics Realistic Economy mod, which you'll be seeing what it does soon enough, but basically it's just supposed to make the economy more realistic. Go figure. This is on Steam. I've got Minor Urban Hall version 16.2, which is the most recent version. Um, this will be linked in the description. It is not on Steam, unfortunately. I've got the extended traffic light timing. This just makes the traffic lights longer, which just feels more realistic to me. Um, and it's annoying, like, when you're in a town that has five or six lights in a row, and you have to stop at every single one, and every vehicle has to stop at every single one because the lights are so short. So this just makes that not happen so much. Um, this is on Steam. Realistic train lengths is also on Steam. It just makes the trains a bit longer. Um, but not so long that they start spawning weird and, you know, having trains floating or having them disappear in front of your eyes or anything like that. So I prefer it to, like, the train rework that you can get other places that aren't Steam. Um, because they make the train so long that then they start spawning weird. And then the AI truck fix here, this is a mod I made myself. It is not available for download anywhere, and it, that's not going to be getting changed. Um, but it basically just modifies the way that trucks spawn, that traffic trucks spawn slightly, to try to help the stop them from blocking up traffic so much. Um, there are two more mods that I'm going to be adding later. The reason I don't have them in currently is because I haven't made them yet. Um, so with all that most basic of explanation out of the way, let me go spend my one skill that I got from my first job. And I'm going to put it in... Let's go straight for a hazard. Because gas tends to pay really well. So as I'll have showed, I am running an economy mod. So if I go into the freight market here, you'll see that freight rates are pretty low. Um, I don't know... I don't remember what the freight rates usually are for a quick job when you first start the game, but I know that, you know, once you have, like, really long specialty jobs in your own truck, you'll be getting job offers that are, like, $100 a mile. Um, then here, you're not going to be. Um. I think the the best paying job I've ever seen running this mod was like three dollars a mile, <laughs> um, but I've never gotten to the point where I had all of the uh, all of the uh, skill points and my own truck and all that sort of stuff where I could do the really high paying jobs. So anyway, I'm going to just take a job here, and I'll keep explaining to you the way things are going to work while I'm driving.
What's a good job? Let's see. I'd like to not be running on a route that I've already run on. So... Well, let me do it like this. Price per distance. Uh, I wanted to do it the other way. So quite a lot of that is a route I've already run. But a whole 62 cents a mile, that's actually really not bad. For just starting out, you know. And it's significantly a little shorter than that one. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. Um, so the first thing of note will be, obviously, that uh, loading screen just then, you saw the full loading screen. Loading screens in this game are pretty quick anyway. Um, this series is going to be basically entirely uncut. Um... I do also want to mention straight away, I do not expect this series to get a lot of views. Uh, I might need to adjust my mirror slightly before I continue this trip. Eh, it'll be fine. Um, I've kind of given up on the whole getting a lot of views thing. I'm just not dedicated enough to making YouTube content to be in the space of getting a lot of views. So, I'm doing this more for myself, because I want to say that I have a YouTube channel. Um, and frankly, I just always wanted to make a series like this. You know, when I was younger, before I had access to these games, or at least the newest ones, I had a, I've had Across America since I was seven. Um, but like, before I had access to ETS2, and before ATS had even come out, you know, I grew up watching other people doing series like what I'm doing here. Um, the one that I was probably the most into was Squirrel, or the Squirrel's Nuts, as he used to be called before he got big. Um, and I assume anyone watching this video who's going to stick it out with me is probably familiar with him, because he was really big in the uh, sim gaming space back in the day. I think he still is pretty big, but I don't see much of him anymore. But, you know, since I have all the games myself, and do this stuff in real life now. I don't watch this sort of stuff so much anymore. Um, so it's possible he's still really big, and I just don't know. Can see the extended traffic light timing working here. Um, but anyway, so, like I said, I'm just doing this series because I want to have a series that I'm doing, and I've always wanted to do a sort of career playthrough, quote-unquote. Um, so, my, my main idea for what this series would be good for, the, the ideal viewer for this series, is someone who, like me, needs to have noise in the background when they're working on projects. Um, I assume the reason I'm like that is due to my ADHD, but I'm not entirely sure. That might just be part of my regular personality, I don't know. Um, but... I just, I can't just sit in silence and work on something. It drives me insane, and basically I start running away with my thoughts, and then I get distracted from doing what I'm doing. Um, so, I typically watch, wow, I cannot see that light at all. Um, I typically watch speedrun live streams. Well, not, I don't watch them as they're live. I'll watch, uh, like, mods while I'm working on stuff. Um, but basically my idea with this series is it'll be good for that sort of thing. Um, if there's someone who has a fleeting interest in trucking and, you know, likes this sort of stuff and needs something to put on in the background while they're watching others, or while they're working on other things, put me in the background. So I'll be, these, I'm going to be doing roughly 30 minute videos. I have my recording software set to break the recording every 30 minutes. Um... And I'm basically just going to upload them completely uncut. I'll probably edit in, like, an intro for each one. But besides that, 
it's basically just going to be like a live stream VOD that was cut up, except that I'm not recording this live. Um, so, because of that, obviously, anyone who's coming into the series later, which will be the ideal viewing experience, is if you come in after a few episodes, um, you might want to just see the important bits. So, what I'm going to do is the episodes that are just me driving around and, you know, just basically grinding um, are going to have generic thumbnails that are auto-generated by YouTube. Um, whereas ones that are important, such as this first one, and any other one where I make a milestone, or otherwise it's just like, okay, it's been like 15 videos and I haven't had it done anything important, so I'm going to do a recap video. Stuff like that will have custom thumbnails, and there will be an exclamation mark next to the episode number. Um, and I will also put an alert, an, audi an audible alert, in the beginning of the video, so that later on, when there are like 50 of these videos all in a playlist, anyone who has them on in the background will audibly hear me say, hey, this is an important video, you might want to pay attention. So that's the way I'm going to do it to break that stuff up. Um, so that if you just want to watch the important stuff, since it's not going to be highlights and it's all going to be like one-to-one, -one, I'm not doing any cuts, if you just want to see the important stuff, you can just jump to the videos that have custom thumbnails and exclamation marks in the title. Um, and I'll probably, once a few of those episodes are out, I'll start making a second playlist that just includes those videos. Um, but obviously that's going to be a while, and especially in the beginning here when I have to grind up, like starting with no money and taking jobs that don't make a whole lot of money, um, it's going to take a while before anything super important happens, right? <laughs> I do also want to mention, it may have already been obvious to some, um, but I am recording this while out running over the road in real life, so I don't have my wheel. I'm playing with a controller. Um, so, you know, especially when I'm driving longer trucks, my driving might not be the greatest in the world due to the you know, steering issues that come with playing with a controller. But I am going to be trying to do this as realistically as possible. And I just realized that I copied the uh, figuration for this game, for this profile, from one of my other profiles that I have traffic offenses turned off on, so I need to go fix that. So let me just drop it down a couple miles an hour, make sure I'm absolutely not breaking any traffic laws so that there's no instance where I should have gotten a ticket but didn't because traffic offenses were off. And I'll go change that after this load. So, for the uploads themselves, um, I'm going to be uploading these roughly once a week. I'm not really going to have an upload schedule. Basically what it's going to be is I'm going to try to, at some point every month, sit down for three or four hours and record a bunch of these just back to back um, so that I'll have videos to put out over the next month. So, Because basically my main goal with this series is to not abandon it, right? And the reason I've abandoned every other series I've ever tried to make is because I got tired of making it. So I'm trying to design this series in a way where it's as easy for me to make as possible so I won't lose interest in making it. If all I've got to do is quickly edit an intro that I'll probably just record one intro that I can stick on all of the... that I can stick on the front of all of the uh, generic videos. Um, if all I have to do is quickly edit in an intro and then upload it, that's incredibly easy to make. 
right? Which is why th that's the main reason they're being uncut is just because the editing is what's like I have so many instances where I've recorded footage for an e for a video I was really excited to have up on the channel, but then I just didn't feel like editing it, and it got to the point where it was two months later and the footage was completely irrelevant, or even I'd lost some of it, or I deleted it because I thought it was a project I'd already worked on, but I actually hadn't. And I have so many videos that I just never made because I didn't feel like editing them. Um, so, I've made it, I'm trying to make a series here that inherently doesn't need to be edited so that that doesn't happen. You know, it's something, ooh, shoot. That even if I can knock out the recording in one day, I still have two weeks before it needs to be out, and it'll take me like 20 minutes to edit all the 30 minute seg and to put intros on all the 30 minute segments, and then throw them onto YouTube. This hill is apparently steeper than it looks. Should have just that here. So yeah, I think that's just about everything I need to say explaining what exactly this video, this series is. One thing I've just thought about is I actually really don't want the recording software auto-cutting the footage at 30 minutes, because I don't want to end episodes in the middle of a load. Unless I specifically intend to end an episode in the middle of the load, at which point I'll be stopping and parking. So, probably going to have to go change that. So I am going to try to have this be some level of entertaining. Um, uh, you know, mostly it's just, if you want to come and, you know, sit down and just cruise with me in a realistic-ish setting. Basically what I'd like to do in real life, but I'm sort of afraid to, because I don't want to make a stupid mistake on camera and then have people chastising me for it. Um... Yeah, I still am get, planning on getting a GoPro at some point and doing videos similar to this, but in real life. Um, it's just, I gotta... It. Okay, note to self. When driving internationals, absolutely adjust the driver's side mirror. I figured this, I would have enough visibility in the spot mirror that I wouldn't have to adjust the main mirror. That is not the case. I hate how f close to the door the spot mirrors are on this truck. It was just, most of the time, the mirrors on the quick jump trucks are adjusted well enough that I don't need to move them to be able to basically see what I'm doing. Um, and of course, usually when I do series like, or, well, not series, when I do profiles like this, I'm playing at home on my wheel with my track IR, and I can move my head to the left and right to change my viewing angle on the mirror. Can't do that right now either. So yeah, I need to be actually adjusting my mirrors. That one's not great either. I really need to be able to see the back of the trailer. Oh, 
Oh, Mustang, I am coming over. So yeah, future loads, adjust mirrors. <laughs> That's This is a good uh, PSA as to why you need to make sure your mirrors are adjusted properly in real life. I may end up installing a couple more mods in the future. Um, like, I'm considering using Jazzy Pack... No. Jazzy Cat's Traffic Pack. Um, but I'm also trying to avoid using mods that aren't on Steam. Um, just because I don't really like... I want to have the mods that I'm using accessible to the viewers in an easy way. Um, so, you know, if I'm using mods on Steam, I can just put a screenshot of the mod list in the beginning of each video, and you can go and look them up by name on Steam. If I'm getting them from somewhere else, I need to link them, and I don't want to be sending my viewers to dodgy sites. that. See, that's where the, uh, playing with a controller came in. This isn't even that long of a truck. There we go. Yay! Okay, so before I forget, let me go and change my options. We want traffic offense on. I'm leaving fatigue simulation off, because all it does is annoy me. So, I just, I feel like the, the day cycle is too short in this game to really enjoy the fatigue simulation. Uh, job link factor, I'm just going to put that at 100%. I wish that would snap to where I click. Revisor speed, show truck limit, speed warning, automatic parking dialog off, keep visor hidden, yes. Turn that up a little bit. I'm going to turn these off, just for a slightly more immersive experience. All right, I feel like all the rest of that should be good. Alright, so I'm probably going to end this video here. Um, it might be a little bit short, but this is mostly just to make sure the uh, recording software doesn't cut it in an awkward place, and I'm going to go and disable it automatically, splitting the videos. Because um, I didn't fully think that through when I set that setting. So, uh, yeah, I hope anyone who... Basically, anyone like me, either now, who needs something in the background... 
or me as a kid who just wanted to sit down and watch these sorts of videos because I didn't have my own truck simulator to play, here you go. Come and join me in building my company. It'll be fun. Um... So, yeah. Uh, until next time, keep that hammer down, drivers.